good morning could you, good morning could you please uh, share your screen and open the document on the topics activity guide go through each and every topic and walk me through over to you potraju thank you rahali now share your screen my screen is visible to you yes i am able to see your screen today i am discussing about the topics for uh, assigning access to the dimension members and uh, define the valid inspections and uh, set up and uh, run the data loads and importing data from file copying data and clearing the data and uh, clear, creating the forms and assign access to the forms i now go to the activity guide in this first lesson i have explained the in this practice managing security the main purpose of the security is saying the user can be access for a reader and writer the access in this practice you will be perform the following task for uh, practice for lesson 6 assign access to the account and entity dimension members coming to the practice number 6-1 assign access to the dimension members in this practice we will assign access to the users and the groups from the dimension members first you are log into the epm cloud and go to the home page and click on the navigator and click on the dimensions make sure in the make sure you have select the account dimension if you select the dimension field and select the account which you created as layer practice number 5 in the memory is the total underscore account and i select and i click on the assign access from the action drop down now go to the groups and tab and add the as as access from the icon and then next see in this uh, select in the service administrator group and give, give the right access then click on the add and click okay close and dialog box next uh, follow the steps for 10 next uh, step entity dimension and select the en0 underscore 05 and select the repeat the steps from 5 to 9 and give, grant to the right permission on the en0 underscore 5 along with the en0 underscore 06 to group side service administrator now i'll show you how to assign the access to the dimension members for account and entity now i go to the application click on the home first i am logged into the application and click on the navigator in the navigator you have option called dimensions as per our activity guide select the account dimension for a member for a total underscore account action there are two type two ways to send the access for a dimension for click on the access under the assign access or in the top of the row have a option called assign access for a assign access as per our activity guide i have followed the steps select the group and add the group in this i have select as per our activity guide select the service administrator providing the type of access for free write and the next if you assign the right read access so user can view the data for a dimension members are working on dimensions only if you assign the right access user can add or modify the dimension so user can be using the members only now as per our activity guide self assign the type of access right click on the add the adding the group or user successfully click on the close on close so as security is successfully access to assign to the dimension members for echo now as per our activity second activity is assign the access for a dimension member for entity and the en0 underscore 05 and the second one is en0 underscore 6 earlier i have creating the members for as per below practice expand the segment expand the en0 underscore this is i have earlier created for a members for a en0 underscore 05 and 06 select the that member click on the action or top of the row you can say the access as per our activity select the groups selecting the add button selecting the service administrator provide the right access click on add click on okay succeed click on close so assign the access for a members successfully same follow the steps and now assign the members for a en0 underscore 06 click on the access member click on the groups click on the action plus icon 
Select from the service administrator. Select the right access as per our access data. Click on that. So adding up the user some group successfully. Click on group. This way you this way you can say assign the access to the dimension members for your system dimensions. Now you yeah, go to the activity guide. This is a conclusion for a practice dash. Uh, 6-1 for access in the access to the dimension members. Now go to the practice per lesson T6. Uh, depend the valid intersection. The main use of admissions is to optimize the form size and reduce the grid side and it is decrease the database size. And go to the next. In this uh, practice, you will perform the following tasks for defining the valid intersection for a dimension members. Now I show you how to assay, create the values in sections and uh, assign the dimension members. In this uh, first you have follow the task for a first log into the application. Click on the home page and click on the application cluster and then go to the value in sections. In this uh, some of the predefined uh, values in sections are available for uh, system can be provided. If you want, we can create the value in sections. For a, as per our activity, select the enter name for a sample underscore value section. Name of the value section. Next, to provide the description. This is optional. Then next, to click on the drop down action. Select the anchor dimension. Anchor dimension is always required for a creating the value sections. Now, select the in this as per our activity, select the anchor dimension is entity and uh, click on the add dimension to make uh, combination with the uh, other dimension. This is a non anchor dimension. If you want, you can uh, create the non anchor dimension for uh, creating the valid sections. Add the dimension, select the entity. Now say, create the rules and uh, click on the rule. Click on the add rule button. Select the expand the entity. Edit the account dimension. Click on the Select the operating income and hit the enter for a entity accounting dimension number. Now follow the steps. So remove the provide the entity for number for a EN0. And uh, EN0 understood this is a functional for a ID center because of uh, every under the EN0 on members comes with the valid section. So user can be focused on only that members only. Remove the entity and select the as per our before follow the steps for 11 to 12. In case, part of the selections, click on the click on the save. Now, I'll show you how to create the valid sections and how to assign the dimensions and dimension members and how to assign the how to write the add rules for your dimension members. Now, again, go to the application, click on the home icon, click on the navigator or under the application cluster. Your option called a valid sections. Click on that. These are the some uh, some of the predefined so valid sections per system can be provided. If you want, you can create the create option at the top, top of the right. So as per our activity guide, select the name for a sample underscore valid sections. Now provide the name for a sample underscore. Valid intersection underscore. Click on the dimension. This is the anchor dimension. The anchor dimension is always required for creating the valid intersection. The description is optional. If you want, you can enter the description for a like this a sample for sample for valid intersection. Intersection for entity. Sample for a valid intersection for account and entity. If you want, you can uh, change. If you want, you can enter the description. This is optional. This is the anchor dimension. Anchor dimension is always required. As per our activity, I can select the account. Click on the add dimension if you want to non anchor dimension, which day which account to which dimension if you want as per our activity guide. Select the entity for a non anchor dimension. Click on the add rule. Expand the account dimension. Edit the if you want, you can add the SQU as per our activity guide. 
once I have checking the name of the member for a account dimension, we come add. So account dimension memory is operative income. Again, go to the application. Select the enter the operating income. Can enter. So memory is successfully found out. You can select the operating income member. You can OK. So memory is account dimension as the operating income is validation memory successfully created. And you can go to the activity guide. Select and remove the and next we have a entry dimension tab into the entry dimension memory is en0 underscore click add the id sent of the en0 underscore so click on ok again go to the activity guide edit the entity mention select the en0 member for as per our activity select the functions of the id sent Click on OK. Click on Save and Close. This way you can create the value injection for a FCS. This is main use for it is reduce the farm size and decrease the database size. Again, go to Activity Guide. So after that, you click on the OK. Finally, click on Save and Close. This is a conclusion for your practice for your defining the value injection in FCS. Now you can go to the Next topics for loading data using data management. In this practice, we have performed the creating the importing data from the FCS application using data management and creating import format and creating the location and define the data mapping and data load rules in order exporting the data from data management. Coming to these are the different different parts. First part is a overview in this practice. In order to set up and run the data from the data management, we will start by creating the import format if the source and target system are defined. First, you are task perform the task for if first log into the application and click on the navigator and select the data management and set up the import format. And then next, you click on the add. Uh, import format name is IF underscore FCS. Discussion for import format to the load data. File type is a delimited numeric data. File type, file delimiter name is a pipe. And then click on save. In the, the file name is a DM data, data import dot txt. This is file comes with a dot txt file. So in the lab section available. And then from the mapping section, enter the following videos per account is a one amount is a seven entity is two icp five amount is a three gap is six product is four this way you can uh, creating the import format again go to the activity application now i'll show you how to creating the import format for a data management click on the home icon click on the navigator under the Integration, click on the data management. One pop up in is created. In the setup tab, this is a source system. Source system by default system can be created name for a file. If you want, we can create the source system file. In the next one is the target application. This is a target application as per uh, our business rules. I can create creating the target application name for FCS. Now you can load the data for a data through the data means by sending the data to in you know, FCS. As for our activity guide, click on the integration setup and select the import format. Click on the plus icon. Earlier have creating the member for IF underscore FCS. Select the IF underscore FCS. This is a file name. I have created elements. Name for IMP underscore FCS. This is a source source file. By default, uh, system can be provided for a source system type name. And this is a target type, which, which application you can load the data. 
by default comes with the uh, which uh, by default uh, system can be provide name for a target. This is uh, my application name. Then select the file type is on a delimiter all type. Select the file delimiter is a pipe. Now show you click on the save. Now show you my importing file parment. You can no speak. This is uh, my import format. So in this I have selecting the account is a members per year 7001 and to 7005. This is a entry dimension member for EN01 underscore 05. This is a moment dimension for a movement underscore net income. By default, system can be taken. And this is a product dimension member for ID. Find the product for a no product. This is inter company. So there is a no inter company for between the two accounts. So now select the inter company for FC underscore no inter company. This is a gap adjustment by default. I can select the Multi gap members for a FC underscore gap. This is the my data file. Data for loading the loading the data means through FCS. I again go to the application. I have creating the file name for a import file name for a IMP underscore FCS. So selecting the as per our guide, selecting the file type and the file elementer. So I have defined the File specification is this is a file type symbol, so I can select the file specification is a file in a data management. This is a pipe, and in the mapping, I can click on the build format. Select the I can select the this is the name of the file format for a DM data loss. I can already upload. Click on OK. In this, uh, you can specify the which memory is, comes with the first field or second field or third field. You can select the, that member. Click on uh, assign uh, dimensions. By default, the selection field member. This is, needs to uh, select the target dimension which you want to change. If you want to say, enter the selecting the field number per two, that is comes with the entity. So you can in this uh, drop down, you can change the that dimension. Now you can enter the name of the first wheel is account for a, a account. Select the entity. Entity can give the name for entity. Select the moment, assign dimension. Moment can give the name for M. Click on OK. Select the no product. So this is a product dimension, custom dimension. I give the name for a product. This is intercompany. I give I say the dimension for a entity intercompany. ICP. I give the name for a source dimension name ICP. Click on the local gap. Select the multi gap dimension. I give the name for a gap. Click on OK. After the click under the drop down, click on OK. So memory is mapping is successfully for creating import format. After that, click on save. The changes import format is created successfully. Again, go to the activity guide. You can follow the steps for and creating the import format for your data management. You can provide the mapping also. I move to the next part too. In this practice, you will create in the location. In click on the indig setup and click on the integration setup and go to the select the click on the location and add the new member. Name is provided by location underscore access. Import format file name. This is a area I have creating the import format IF underscore access. Click on save. By default, the source system and the target system is comes. Now I'll show you how to create the location. Again, go to data management. Click on the import setup. Click on the location. Click on add. And then there we have provided the name for FCS underscore location. In this, you can select the import format. Earlier I have creating the import format for a IMP underscore FCS underscore. Click on OK. 
by default so sister and target system will becomes you can say this way you can creating the location for your data management again go to activity guide i can create the follows chips provide the name for location as core access import format that way i have created the ifn underscore access again go to the part three in this part three you can practice in practice so you will create in the data mapping for your dimensions and click on the data mapping click in the work under the workflow tab click on the data mapping click on location by selecting the changing the point tab you for a location underscore fc earlier i have creating the location for a location underscore fcs and the changing the period for a jan 20 and then click on save now perform the mapping for account dimension is start to start mapping and uh, entity for a start to start and uh, product and intercompany is uh, start to start and after that click on the save and uh, part four in this practice we will creating the data load rules and, uh, click on the data rules under the workflow tab click on the add provide the name for a dl underscore emphasis description for a data load rule for emphasis and then click on the save click on exit and select the checkbox according to the following screenshot i can select the import format for source and select the export to the target and the file type is selecting the data dm load import and just click on update and click on the now click on the run so after click uh, refreshing the status is changed to green tick this way the green ticks comes uh, data data is loaded successfully from data load, data management to target application for fcs no the in case any failures i go to process details space and view the errors and I click go to the data load workflow bench in the view the import file under the data load work bench the green green uh, golden fish is comes so data management is data is load successfully through data management to fcs in order if export data is application navigate to the home page and click on the rules card and launch the consolidation rules under the selecting uh, provide the names for a en0 underscore under entity region i show you how to creating the mapping under data mapping I have created the. I have run the show you come to the part three. You can overview. Uh, now show you how to uh, create in the data load mapping. Again, go to the application. This is earlier I have creating the location name for a FCS underscore location. This is uh, I have self creating a location name for a FCS underscore. And click on home workflow tab under the data load mapping. In this uh, location, change the point of view for a selecting. Search, click on search. This is earlier I have creating the location name. I'm changing a period for a FI Jan 20. Click on OK. By default category for a actual. So only system can, system can be created under the scenario dimension is only actual. By default, come with the actual. Click on OK. Click on the data load mapping as per our activity guide, providing the mapping for a counting on entity and product and intercompany for a like mapping for a start to start. So, click on select the like mapping, click on that, providing the source value for a star and target value for star. Click on the rule name for a account map. Click on save. This way you can uh, providing the mapping for a entity and uh, multi gap and product. Click on add. 
provide new source value first. Huh? Click on the rule name for a entity map. Click on save. Again, providing a mapping for entry company. Source value for star. Target value for star. Rule name for ICP. Underscore. Map. Click on save. Again, follow like step providing the mapping for a product dimension. Provide the star source value is star, target value is star. Providing the rule name for a product map. You can say by default, uh, say as data source members and uh, multi gap and uh, movement dimension system can be by default system can be mapped. You can say you can close this way. You can uh, providing the creating the mapping for a dimension members in uh, data management again go to the data role rule click on that providing the data rule name for a test or whatever and click on save name is already sample click on save click on execute Select the import from source and uh, providing the name for file name for a DM later import. Click on run. The process ID is uh, provided by the one at one. Click on the monitor in the process details. You can see the status of the importing format and validation. The import format uh, DM is uh, successfully. And the transfer stage for a balance to the expert for feed by Jan 20. In the workflow bench, you can see the status for a green two fishes. By default, uh, green green three fishes comes so successfully load that uh, data from uh, data management to FCS. Now click on the data rule. This time I can uh, exporting the data, executing the exporting to target. Providing the file name for a DM. Click on run. Processor is one or two. In the monitor status, you can see the status of the exporting data. It take at least to five to so minutes. So exported data is a consolidation is application successfully consolidated data for consolidation application is successfully in the data launch branch. You can see the status of the import and validation is export is successfully. In this you can see the which source entity and target application target application member. This way you can load the data load the load the data from the data management to FCS. Again, go to the activity guide. Again, follow the providing the name and run the show you this uh, task. Provide the mapping for a star to star. And you click on the execute, run the importing from the source and uh, export it to the target. Again, providing the application name and providing the data load branch. I show you, as I show you the green ticks marks for a golden trees. Now I will run the business rules for a consolidation rule for a entity selecting the launch page for a providing a enter the entities and enter the period and enter the scenario enter the year then click on the launch. Now I show you how to run the business rules for a this member. This is a data loading data. Now again go to the application under the rules. Select the consolidation. Click on the launch. In this, so you can providing the enter the entity and providing the enter the period and enter the scenario, enter the year, which area you are selecting the data, selecting the which period or which year, which scenario or which entity select to load the data. After that, click on the launch. So business rule is run successfully. After that, in the jobs card, you can see the status of the consolidation. 
So refreshing the data successfully. Again, go to the activity guide. Now show you. And then click on the data card and expand in the FCS underscore income statement below. And now click on the income statement by field and open the form and enter the following details in the point of if for a scenario is actual and here is FI20 and V is a periodic entity is a EN0 underscore 0 05 and consolidation is entity input data source is a total input and adjustment so inter companies or no inter company selecting a multi gap for a local gap and the currency is entity currents product is no currency now I shall select the members for a selecting the income statement by period and providing the dimension members for a point of view and after that and selecting of year dimension for a fi20 after that you can see the data of the data load bench. now i'll show you how to select the members in point of view for a form by default the system can be provided for system can be pre provided for a default form depending on the enabling the features if you enable the basics so if this underscore income statement by period the form is not displayed in under the access now I'll show you how to assign the members in point of view again go to the application click on the home icon click on the navigator selecting the data card in the data card and close in selecting the expanding the total FC underscore statement, selecting the income statement by period, selecting the same name for a scenario for actual and year is FI20, is periodic and entity is EN0 and underscore, consolidation is entity. Now change the consolidation entity for a Click on edit. Can change the layout of the change the member for a consolidation member. Click on edit. Or else in the navigator, click on the sample form. In the data card, it takes uh, some time. Okay, again, activity guide. Providing the names for a selecting the members for as per our activity and then click on data form. You can see the data in the, and again go to the next topic for a manage data. In this uh, manage data, you can uh, providing the run the importing data for the CSV file and uh, copying data from one point of to another point of view and clearing the data from uh, cubes. In the practice for a 9 1, importing data from a file. And the task in this task providing the first login to the application, click on the home page and uh, click on the application under the cluster, under the overview. Import data and uh, select the file name for import underscore data dot csv. This is file's location is the d dot labs. I don't have access for ELA. I have uh, creating the one import data file. Now show you. After that, click on the providing the name import data and click on import in the job section you can see the successfully are completed or error now I'll show you how to importing the data for a .csv file in the data card again go to the active application in data part you can see the data for a data management data management through fc application click on home page another application Click on Wow record. In the Wow record, you have option A in the drop down under the actions. Click on actions.
you can import data you can create now I'll show you the what is the, my import data for data load file this is a I can select the entity is a row and this is a column for a account for a member for a access underscore cash and cash equivalent. This is a point of view for a I can select the period for a February and this is a import data for a and select the a consolidation memory is a consolidation dimension member by entity input data input for a data source member dimension entity currency is a currency dimension. No intercompany is a intercompany data intercompany dimension member. And uh, you can select the no movement is a movement dimension and a local gap is a multi gap dimension member and no product is a product dimension member and I select the scenario for a X1. This is a year for a FI20. This is a view dimension member for a FI periodic. This is a selecting a new cube type is a console. This is a, my importing data load file for, for a data load importation. Again, go to the application. The file comes with the location local, so I can select the location for a local. The file can be saved in inbox, so you can select the location type for inbox. The file type is a .csv as per our attitude, so I can select the comma delimited. I select the mode for importing. Matching means you can, uh, can data is already existing and that uh, selecting the point of image, so you select the import mode for image. So data can be made or else you can set new import mode for a replacement data can be replaced with, with the fresh values. You can set the image and I can make a piece of name. Select the choose the file for a. You can save the file under the desktop. Data load file. We can close the this file. Update click on validate. If you want to change the data format, you can change the day, month, day to month, year, if you want. You can OK. Validation is successfully. In the in the jobs code, you can see the successful or error comes for importing data. You can close. You can close. In the jobs code, you can see the status of the importing data. So validation import data is successfully. Again, you can refresh. It takes so at least to 10 to 5 minutes. Now you can uh, explain the what task to perform after the completion of importing data. Again, go to the activity glide. I have completed the important data from the files for selecting the import data and providing a name of the file name and providing the Click on imports in the jobs card. I can see the status of the data. Again, go to the application. It takes so. Uh, so import data is uh, successfully. So green icon is uh, comes. Again, go to the activity guide. This is the status. Now show you this is the importing data status in the jobs card. The import data is uh, successfully. Again, go to the active guard. I can uh, move to the next to practice for a copying and clearing data in data data load. In this practice, you will copy the data from one entity to another and uh, then clear the data from one entity. In this first, you can uh, log, task for a first log into the uh, application and uh, click on the home page and uh, click on the application cluster and uh, click on the over, under the over record and uh, selecting the uh, copy data providing the Scenario is the actual and here is the FI20. Period is the Jan to Jan and entry is the EN0 underscore 05206. In this, as per our attitude, I can show you our copying the data from one entity to another entity. One entity is the name for a EN0 underscore 05 and the second moving target target memory is a EN0 underscore 06. Then data source memory is a data input. It is a tracking the data. So can uh, enter the data file through data uh, files. So you can select the data source member for a data limit. If you load the carbon data through general, so you can select the data source member for a general input. 
you can enter so you can copy the data from uh, software data you can choose the data source member for your business course of one data input as per our active guide again select the data source member for your business course data input now i'll show you how to copy the data from one entity to another another entity again go to activity guide application click on our record under the application under the actions yeah option card a copying data copying data click on create can you select the regular data over a data rate data or option as per our activity you can select the regular data and this is the source source file source memo so this is the target member by these are by default scenario in the year and a period and entity and data source members is uh, by default you can uh, provide the uh, list one member to each dimension under the accounting movement and inter dimension inter company dimension and the supplementary members are uh, this is uh, optional if you want you can providing the members now as per our attitude i can provide a scenario for a actual this is the source and uh, target member for a scenario i can year dimension for a FI20. This is the source and target, and the period is Jan. If you want, you can enter the. You can OK. This is the source and the target. Entity member is a EN0 underscore 05, EN01 underscore 05. This is uh, my source. Member now change the target member for a six EN zero underscore six and the data source member is a data input member. I can load the data through file. So I so now I can select the member for a source data source member data input. This is a source so Source and uh, this is the target. As per our active guide, I can uh, move copying the data from one entity to another entity for a EN0 underscore data is moved to the EN0 underscore 06 data. Click on the run or uh, click on save. You can uh, run the save after you can create the schedule. You can uh, save and you click, you can provide in the name and description. After that, you click on the job card. You can uh, create in the schedule for a copying data. As now, I can click on run and uh, copying data with so if you want, click on run. Job is uh, submitted successfully. Click on the jobs console, you can see the information of the copying data. Click on cancel, click on cancel. You can uh, click on jobs card in this chapter. You can see the copying data is uh, successfully again. Go to activity guide. You can see the status of copy data. It comes to green mark. Now I have got it uh, copy data for a green mark. Again, go to activity guide. Then click on the run. And to verify the data is your copied entity is the one EN0 underscore 06 and data card. You can see the data card under the checking uh, member for FC underscore data input member. You can see the Data of the EN0 underscore memory is successfully or not. Then uh, I follow, move to the task for 10. So clear data from uh, home page and uh, go to the wow record and the application cluster. Select the clear data under the actions. Click on clear data and providing the members for a scenario is actual and the year is FI20 and the period is Jan. Uh, entity is a EN0 underscore 06. So data source is the FC underscore data input. After that, providing the clear data members, so click on the run. You can see the status of the clear data member in uh, jobs card. After that, you click on the data card. You can see the data of the under the EN0 underscore member. Again, go to the activity application. Click on the overview. Under the actions, remember option called a clearing data. In this clearing data, you can click on create. 
it is just selecting the regular data or overlay data, red data. I can, as per our activity, I can select the regular data. And he's providing the, these are the, some uh, fields, uh, some dimension members are required. It comes with the star mark, scenario and year and period and entity and data source uh, dimension members are required. And account and movement and internal dimension and product and multi gap dimension and the supplement data dimensions are not required. This is optional. You can select the scenario for a actual as per our activity guide. And here is a FI20. Click on OK. In the period, I can select the Jan. Click on OK. Entity is a EN0 underscore 06 as per our activity guide. EN01 underscore. 06 can enter can work data source number is FC underscore data input it is account and these are optional as per our card activity I follow the providing the members for a scenario and year and period and entity and data source members after that click on say you can save the clear data profile if you want to creating the schedule so now as per our active day can run the with no time and click on run the default content yes the job is submitted you see the job console for more information you can close you can cancel in the job code, you can see the status of the clearing data. Clearing data is uh, successfully. This is the conclusion for a copying data and clearing data, importing data from a uh, .csv file. Now you can go to the activity guide. Next, we move to the next topic for a managing forms. In this uh, managing forms, how to create in the simple forms and uh, and assign the access to the data forms. In this practice, we will perform in the task for a uh, Practice by creating the forms on which you will use to enter the and view the data in application in a later exercise and assigning access from the those forms and in the practice for a 10 dash one for creating form for a simple form. In this practice, we can create in a simple form. First, you have follow the task bar, first log into the application, and as a click on home page and click on the navigator and then click on the forms. And click on the plus icon for providing the new folder for a name for your data forms and click on OK. This is a option. This is a form name for a create simple form. Creating a simple form. There are two types of forms for creating for a creating in next system. First one is a simple form, second one is adapt forms. As for our IT, again, self simple form, creating a simple form, I'll show you. And enter the following details for property space for a the name of the simple form for a data entry. The description is optional. If you want, you can provide in a description for a this is a form used for a data entry. Then click on next. This is the layout of the members for a dimension number. It in this point of you can provide in the selecting the U and selecting the dimension for a U and intercompany and currency and multi gap and the product. In the page dimension, year and period and scenario, consolidation and data source. In the rows, you can select the movement and the account. In the columns, you can select the entity. After this, uh, the form layout is comes this like. And pick on the two more and add the row and uh, add row. Now I'll show you how to create a simple form, how to assign the members dimensions in point of view and page and rows and columns. Now show you again go to the application. Click on home icon. And then go to another navigator. Click on another the create and manage the option called a forms artifact. And click on the plus icon. Now I can creating the folder name. As per our activity guide, probably name for your data forms. So you can switch the name of the data form folder. Name for a data forms. After that, click on OK. The folder is created successfully under the library. And you click on the actions. 
or you can uh, go to the click on action create in simple form or uh, in the ta task bar you can uh, create click on create in the properties can provide in the name for a data entry as per our attribute you can provide a name of the form for a interview discussion for one second discussion for a name is a data entry discussion for this form is for a data entry you can provide in the discussion for a name of the form this form is a is used for data entry Used for data entry. After selecting things by default comes with the Cooper console. If you want, you can enable the user metric and you can choose the data user status for a, using a calculation status. You can enable the status. So one dimension is created under the layer step. As name of the dimension is a status. If you want, you can enable the use metric or status. And you can provide in the discussion also in uh, under the provide the name of the form details. You want optional and click on the next. In this uh, section in the layout, you can provide in the point of view and the page and uh, rows and column dimensions as per our activity guide. No seconds shift. After that, in the point of view, you can select the view and intercompany and currency in the multi gap and product. In the page, year and period and scenario and consolidation and uh, data source. And now I'll show you how to move the dimensions in uh, layer tab. Cross is a movement and a count. Can move the dimension file in row. Count is uh, move to the row. Entity is uh, move to color and go to the activity guide in the page year and period year period and the second the scenario consolidation data source scenario data source You see, you can uh, move the dimension in a point up here and page and uh, rows and columns. Now, so check it is a uh, select uh, dimension number is correct or not. Again, go to activity guide. In the point up, you can select the U intercompany. You say check U intercompany and uh, currency multi gap and product. Currency multi gap product option. Okay. In the page layout, select the year period. Year period scenario consolidation data source in the rows selecting the moment and icon. Okay, column is selecting the entity. So the farm layout is comes to this way. This way again now add the two more rows and do write the click on the row one and selecting the add row. And then one more row click on selecting the one click on the add row. So that uh, the two one more one. And the following the details in point of view dimension for the encrypting icon show. In the view is a periodic and currency is entity currency and intercompany is a no intercompany and product is a no product. Multi gap is a local gap. Now it's like the members for a dimension. Here is a view is a periodic by default the comes with the periodic view for a data view. In the currency is a entity currency. And intercompany is a so I checked it. The company is a no intercompany. Multi gap is a local gap. Local gap. 
product is no product. In the phase. After that, the 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 point of is comes with uh, periodic node recovery product and entity currency and local there. After that, in the page dimension, click on the blue down arrow and year dimension, click on edit. In the year, you can select the functions for your children. Select the edit, click on the blue icon. Select the year functions for your children. Click on OK. And then providing the dimensions for a numbers for a period and scenario and consolidation data. So again, go to the figure. And the scenario is actual and consolidation is a ID cent of FC and as contribution total. Period is the ID cent of year total. Data source is ID cent of FC and as total data source. Except your scenario is the actual. Period is a year total ID sent. You can edit. ID sent up uh, year total and consolidation is a contribution input. You can uh, contribution total in expand, expanding a contribution, expand the Parent total expanding the entity total. ID center for contribution total. ID center for contribution total. Click on OK. In the data source, you can select in the FC underscore total data source. ID center for total input. Total data source for a data source dimension number. In the row, in the row one, movement dimension for a changing the due issue of start. In the row, this is the row one. Then the movement for a, then providing the name for a changes. Changes. Due to issue of this stock, click on the uh, search. This is a number. Move to the right side. You can go to the activity guide. After the after row one, selecting a uh, movement is a uh, changes to the issue of stock, and the second row in the account memory is a common stock. You can select the row one. Number for a entity account. Common stock. Move to the right side. Click on OK. In the row two, you can providing the movement dimension member for a. I'm saying. Changes in other current asset. You can enter the changes. In other. Current assets. Yes, in other current assets, click on search and move to the right side. In the accounting, select the member for a total asset under the current asset under the selecting the member for a. Move to the right. Click on OK. Row three. You can provide in the name for a selecting the member for a row movement dimension. We changes in net income. Changes in the net income. Move to the right side. In the account, I can select a member for a uh, 
expanding your current asset, expanding the cash and cash equivalent, selecting a payroll cash account. Remember the row in the column, you can select the entity children's of consolidation entity. You can edit children's of consolidation entity. Or cancel in the sales. Children sub entity. Children of sales. You can say this way you can uh, providing the members for a uh, dimensions uh, in place and point up your and rows and columns. You can go to active date. After that, uh, you can uh, say. And the select the business rule tab and select the console rule for a consolation. Click on add. Now I show you how to create the business rule and then the business rules tab. Selecting a consolation, move to the right side. Click on save. This way, you can uh, pro providing the business rules for a simple form. Again, go to the activity After that, click on save and click on finish. And finish. So that select the your newly created member. Click on edit. Click on save name for a consolidation data form. Can change in the edit. And save as consolidation data entry. You can work okay. So consolidation data form is uh, created based on the earlier creating data entry form. After that, after I delete the row for a later for a row two and row three, in the moving dimension is uh, move to the column from rows and now changing the members for a dimensions. Step similar to the steps for account is the uh, addition of a total balance sheet. Moving for a closing balance. Now I'll show you how to move into the members dimensions in rows and columns. You click on the layout tab. You can save. Now remove the row rows for a row two and click on row. Click on row delete row. And selecting and click on row. Now moving the Moving dimension is uh, moving to the column and uh, changing the account dimension for a members for a balance sheet. ID sent up traditional balance. So I check it. So name ID sent up FC centers for total balance sheet and uh, total balance and the traditional risk. We can work okay. in the Moving dimension changing for a closing balance. Moving dimension. Selecting a changing for a closing balance. Click on OK. After the to click on close. And something that should look like follows to start. So I can change the FCC's movement is a closing balance and uh, Account is the FCS underscore balance sheet traditional range. After that, uh, making the follow changes in point of view, are changing the point of your dimension view, dimension number for a U dimension is FCS underscore OTD. Intercompany is FCS underscore intercompany top. And currency is a parent quantity. After that, in the property staff, we can provide in the grid property name for a suppress missing blocks and uh, suppress missing data was. Now change the Point of dimension members in a consolidation entity form. In the view is a in the point in the layout tab. In the view is a change to OTD. OTD. Intercompany is a intercompany top. Complete top. Okay. 
Next up, currency is a parent currency. Can change in the currency, parent currency. Move to right side. So after that, uh, enabling the properties in the rows, suppress missing blocks and uh, suppressing missing data. So after that, finally click on the save and finish. Click on save. Click on finish. This way you can create in the simple forms in your data in your FC cells. This is the conclusion for your practice for a 10-1 in managing form. Now move to the next to topic. Practice for assigning the access to the data forms. In this practice, you will assign the access to the uh, data forms that you created in the practice for a 10-1. Then you have uh, created the two forms. One is the data entry and the second one is the uh, consolidation data entry. And I first log into the application and select the data entry from and uh, click on the assign access and select the group tab and uh, click on the plus icon and uh, select the service administrator, give the right access and click on that and close the dialog box. Now I'll show you how to assign access to the data forms and again go to the application. I can select the data entry in the this is a action assigning access or under the actions. Here option to assign access in the groups. Click on the plus icon, selecting the service administrator, providing the type of access for the right access as per our activity guide. Click on that. So adding the user and the group member is successfully. Click on close. Click on close. You can go to the activity guide. After that, click on close dialog box. This is a conclusion for a Providing the access for a data forms in uh, FC cells. That's all. Thank you for giving me a wonderful opportunity. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.